Head Collective. Welcome to the channel. I'm Crystal, Divine Psychic Medium, delivering messages to you from the higher realms. So welcome in, everyone. So this is another star sea transmission. We're going to label this with the energies of 723. Okay. So all the readings are timeless, but I always let you know about the timestamps because it's more fun to catch them in real time and to connect with the cosmic energies that we have going on. Like currently we've got this full moon for cancer season that just closed. We're now in Leo energy. So this is really, really, um, a really powerful full moon because it was a series of two full moons in Capricorn and cancer season. So right at the beginning and one at the end. So cancer season was a very, very big emotional month, right? There could be a lot of, um, you could have went through recently went through like a lot of like purging cleansing like a lot of emotions and stuff like that so I feel like it's going along with this energy right that I'm getting about you could be seeing things differently getting things revealed to you like who your enemies are um just so seeing things differently you're really evaluating relationships and things like that who's on your side who's not right so a lot of things um in the last transmission I did is I was talking about the MK Ultra right and it, you know, they brought me to another level, right? As I was going and calming down and trying to clear my energy, but it came through again. So they're wanting me to elaborate on that. So maybe you feel guided to transmission one as I do upload in threes, right? When I can. So, um, but anyway, like I was, um, getting a download about monitoring spirits. Okay. And about, you know, MK Ultra, and it, you know, it, it's more like, it's a very big program to me. Like what I was getting was almost, it's like, a virus right and how a virus spreads and expands and grows and there's different things right especially you know they are, can create viruses in labs and grow them and and play different factors and then there's different factions that play a factor right so uh, what I was getting at with this is that so there's so much that there's so many different variables that control things, right? And there's so many different monitoring spirits. Like, literally, like, I was writing them all down. Like, I've always known about the Jezebel, the Leviathan, the Ahab, right? As, you know, they're very, very, the three most strongest, right, um, demons, um, demonic forces that cause, you know, oppression, obsession, you know, causes confusion, um, um, because one of them um, is the Jezebel spirit, right? That really is jealousy and um, confusion and, and chaos and flipping things, right? And um, I think it's the Ahab that causes like, um, like um, really affects your confidence. And, and, and the, anyway, you can look them up if you want to. I don't want to get into each of them, right? Or if that's what this reading would be. But I've always known those were like the three major ones. And sometimes you could be dealing with somebody that's embodying all of them and systematically being attacked by somebody that in, that has <laughs> did I just hear plethora? Uh, I don't know. Um, sometimes I hear words that I don't use <laughs> though, so I don't know how to put them out there from my spirit team. But anyway, there's someone out there that's got like a whole bunch of demons. Okay, so they embody multiple, right? But then I was getting there's a marine um Delilah, the Python spirit, right? Or that's right. The Leviathan, I believe, is the one that goes down and um, systematically attacks, you know, organizations and different things. Like, that's why I say they've weaponized religion, right? Well, I, I always classify it in a different way. They've weaponized religion because they've, they've turned, you know, a belief system in, in, in different ways, right? They've, I don't want me to go too far down, down that way. There's a lot of things they've done to weaponize religion, right? Um, but steering everybody away from God source energy, a lot praying away to a false God, giving your power away. Like it was never supposed to be giving your power away. That's what I mean. They weaponized it by taking parts out, by changing it, by turning it into businesses and organizations and worship and sacrificing and, and just, I mean, I know not everyone just some of them, right? Okay, I'm gonna get off that. All right, so anyways, their whole main thing is to cause chaos, conflict, to stop, block, destroy, right? To, to separate, right? Like the best interpretation I can get, right? Um, 
that they showed me that really made sense to what I feel has happened is like the you guys have seen the new Ghostbusters, right? Afterlife and the Frozen Empire was amazing, <laughs> mind you, but I, it's so beautiful how they carried on, right? Uh, um, with um, with the storyline with with the granddaughter, right? Anyway, so what they were showing was that the separation from spirit. Okay, how this the spirit can, the soul can separate from the body, and just like how certain objects are possessed with that energy. So anyway, they were showing me that, like literally, like that is what they've been doing with this MK Ultra, this programming, these spirits. It it's like systematically is what I keep hearing with this download. So see, it's like. They know how to like when to attack you, when to do this. So it's like monitoring spirits, you know. Oh, I also got masquerading spirits, watchers, and demons, right? Which they're they're all those things. They're you know they're all evil, which I just found out today from beautiful soul family member that it's live in reverse. I never noticed that before. It straight up is right. That's why there's that. The darkness, right? It's um, it's all evil. It's all you know, stopping you from being connected with your soul. Like that, like that's what they keep showing me. That separation, right? And it's like that's what they've been doing, harvesting, you know, our energy, disconnecting us from our spirit, disconnecting us from source, right? And like um, not being aligned with true source energy. And how you do that is you know, imposing fear and you know, these in a, in a systematic, like using these different um, energies, right? And it's more like it's ran on like a, a larger scale, right? Um, like it's like if you just think that the only attacks when you hear about evil and darkness of the world, you just think about the elites and the corrupt political and agencies, whatever. Like, no, it's way bigger than that, right? And I, even I got today like this like the only war um is not here just on this earthly plane right not just in this realm it's within several realms that's why there's so many realms that are working together that are bridging that are protecting right as this is i said this is a transmission for all my star seeds my light workers or you know, anybody can be guided here but you know i talk a lot about the dragon realms the unicorn realm we work very much with them and we get a lot of protection a lot of a lot of strength right so you know yeah they've been systematically right attacking right so and and for a lot of you like i've been getting like a lot of like quantum healing and different things like i just went through um a light language healing right for the seven chakras which was amazing some of you if you haven't got into light um language and different quantum healings like maybe you're going to be guided to it after this right but it could be eliminating certain wounds certain blockages things like that that you may have where you're going to be more in control of your energy of your vessel right where you're going to be blocking out but a big thing was identifying these spirits right knowing um how to identify them you know um how they're creating chaos and conflict and confusion and things like that and really pulling back your energy and protecting your energy so i don't know i really feel that those are um, going together for some of you, maybe you want to check out the first reading that I did where I was talking a lot about the MK Ultra. But it, I feel the second part is they wanted me to talk about these different monitoring spirits, or maybe you need to look them up and get an idea of them like being in the know, right? Because having that awareness, right, allows you to equip yourself for you know, it's like when you know about these different um monitoring spirits these different kinds because i don't want to just do a run through of all of them on here and even give them that power and energy but you should know um like how they you know like affecting your confidence affect like that th those are um those are demons right that that cause you right because it, it's to it's to push fear right you can't have fear and love that's what this matrix is ran off of is fear that's how they were harvesting souls. That's why it's turned into 
entrapment of the soul, getting stuck in a reincarnation cycle over and over and over again. And a lot of people are walking around and are disconnected from their souls or disconnected from source energy. And that's what a star season light workers are here to We're on soul recovery missions, right? And um, yeah, so anyway, um, they wanted me to bring that up um, for part two of the transmission. And then I've been looking a lot at my um, Lemurian star child deck that I got. So originally I was going to pull just cards and then they were like, no, talk about the monitoring spirits and transmission too. So there you go. So I'm moving on now. Now this was the card that I pulled right away this morning. So it's been sitting here and it's about inner child attunement. And I've been hearing chakra attunements and balancing. And like one of the things that was a big focus when I was doing my light language healing last night was there was a big work on my um, inner child's wounds that were within the solar plexus, the heart, and the throat. And the, the extra time was spent on my throat chart now that I remember because there was a lot of repressed emotions and feelings that I had within my throat because like when I was a child, like my father never let me express myself. Like anytime like I was in trouble, like my father was very like, you know, brought up with, brought me up with the uh, yes ma'am, yes sir, like to my parents, like I can never explain myself. So it was like even times that like, you know, like I couldn't ever talk or explain myself. He wouldn't listen to me. So there'd be times like I would get punished for things that my brother did, you know, and because he would never let me even explain that I couldn't, you know, it was just if you say another word, you know what I mean? Like I was going to get, <laughs> I don't like to bring all that back up, but it's more punishments, right? Um, so it was like. A lot, a lot of that caused rage, but it made me feel like I couldn't speak up, I couldn't express myself, and then I associated it with pain if I did. So a lot of times it was just, I held back, held back, held back, right? Because I didn't, you know, so then it was like I had a lot of throat chakra blockages that was linked to really inner child wounds is what I'm getting at here. Whatever I talk about is significant. If you don't feel it's for you, it's not. But for some of you, maybe you're going to realize like, oh my gosh, like, yeah. You know, maybe it's different for you. Just maybe you never had, you know when you were a child somebody that understood you maybe they always let you talk but they didn't understand you so it created a wounding or whatever but there's something strong with the inner child wounding okay and then I felt to talk about the throat chakra and because I'm picking up a lot on these blues and purples and what I'm getting at for a lot of you is that's going to cause a huge surge of energy of energy attunement um and I'm curious to see what the actual um meaning of this card is so uh, cause I'm new to this deck, so I want to look it up here and see. So let's see what this, um, what other messages are. Cause I read intuitively, so you're going to get the first perception of what I read intuitively, and then you're going to get the message, right? So go within, listen, loving, parenting, attune, scan your energy bodies, love and listen to you and be a loving parent to yourself. See, this is, I'm picking up strongly, like, someone didn't feel that they were loved right by a parent. So, and maybe this is affecting how you parent, if you are a parent, or just to parent yourself, right? To nurture that inner child, right? Um, love and listen to you. So there's this big healing energy, like I said. For some of you, like, I feel there needs to be a purging and a, and a clearing, okay? Like, I had a lot of blocks and built up stuff in my throat chakra, right? That I didn't even aware was there until I was going through the, the um, healing because I hid it so very well, <laughs> right? So um, there's this there's big clearing, I feel, right? Um, and there's different things that you can do to open up chakras. It all depends on the woundings that you have. Um, like I said, I had certain ones that were attached to this inner child wounding, right? So as much like throat chakra healing and activation, like I've done mantras, I've done all sorts of different things, working with the colors, eating the fruits and vegetables, right? With the cut, like to open up different chakra systems. Sometimes there's certain ailments, right? That cause certain things, right? And for some of you, maybe these monitoring spirits they got to you when you were younger, right? And for some of you, they may even know, like, wow. Like, it was crazy, too. After I went through that healing, I fell asleep. It put me to sleep, right? 
I woke up to a whole bunch of drama this morning. And right away I was just like, oh, they know I went through. <laughs> I was like, literally, I was like, I know I went through something. And then it was, it was causing me to be, and I was realizing like, oh my gosh, like, look at how expressive I'm being now. And it just reaffirmed for me, like, oh my gosh, like it healed it because I, it was like, I felt very free with what I was saying. And I, I didn't have that. If I, if I don't express myself, I'm going to get like, it was different. It was like, I was very expressive of myself. And actually the reaction I got was different. I actually got then the, like the other person on the other side literally came back. Like, I'm, I'm sorry that I, I came up because it was, it was just, it was so different. And it was like, it was so much more reassuring that like I held my ground and it was in a different way. Like, I don't know. I just, I needed to share that for some of you. Like this is, I feel what's happening. There, we've been getting this for a while in the collective star seeds, right? We're in this target, like we're integrate. There's as much as these monitoring spirits, like they're coming in. They're n it's not even working to block like once you are aware. Like that's what I'm getting at. Like right away, like as soon as I lift up my head, right, I was just like, oh, there's more coming at me because like I just knew they were gonna attack me. And then when it when I was in the moment and I was like, look at this attacking me, seeing if I'm well, da 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 da. Like, and then I, I it was just like, wow, like that that was supposed to trigger me and that was that was testing the wounding that I had just healed and cleared. So literally like, and there was nobody that knew that I had did the healing. Mind you, I was the only one between me and my healer, was the only person that knew, right? And then within hours later, literally just seeing that. So like you could be seeing these things. You're elevating much higher, very rapidly, right? That's what I mean. Things are seen at a higher level. And if, if it's not making sense to you, what I'm explaining right now, then it ain't to your level consciousness and that's okay. You're here for some of the other parts of the reading and this may make sense to you later because you can only understand things that are at the certain conscious level that you are at. Okay. So, wow. Yeah. There is, um, I feel that this is what's happening because as we elevate and we heal, we're all interconnected, right? And just different healing, like, you get guided to different things and sometimes key words, right? Maybe some of you were thinking about a light language, right? And you, you just didn't pursue it. But now you've heard my story and you're just like, wow, yep, I'm going to go do that. Now I know why I'm getting guided to investigate this. Like I, like, I know that I was hesitant before um, doing it because there's a lot of spell work and black magic and things like that that go around right and um especially so if you went through those things where you've been under um hypnosis things like that it can make you like okay so use your discernment right um but trust where you're being guided but definitely allow the healings like that's a big thing too like you have to be ready for healing you have to be accepting of healing, right? So, yeah, they're they're losing their power. They're, and, and to me, it's like I can easily just see these things. I'm just like, oh, here we go again. Here's, the, here's that because you're fully embodying this energy. You're taking over control. You have like, <laughs> like this is beautiful energy, right? Like, um. You're starting to have way more control over your emotions, your feelings, your soul. Like, and when you do that, you're able to really move, just create magic, right? So, wow, that's powerful, right? So now I see why that was laying on my desk, right? Because right, I was, I remember it was the first card I got out, and I'm just like, I gotta go clear my mind before I can get into this because I don't want it to roll out in my readings. And then they were like, no, you're supposed to use your situations and. Because I have monitoring spirits on my channel <laughs> that I don't like to share a lot of personal stuff, right? So maybe you're feeling to be more private. So I'm doing the best that I can explaining my situations while still being mindful. Because for some of you, it's like 
you you can create distance in space but it's like you can't completely but it's like for some of them all they can do is be watchers you can only let them impact you if they're letting you if you're letting them in your energy it's just like the monitoring spirits that i told you that i have right through past people like i don't talk to them but they still watch every single one of my videos and my con and you know what you're helping the algorithms that's fine <laughs> even though there is all sorts of um you know um what do they call it where they make it look like your content's not going anywhere or whatever it's cute when I see that I'm like oh my readings got no views all right that one's got no views but I got comments and all this stuff over here <laughs> it's funny how they, they make it look that way it's interesting I said that for some of you it's like because they're what for some of you you got people up in high places that are watching you <laughs> you know what I mean so but everything is You're in control. You're in charge of control of over you. That is that's what's the most powerful thing. I'm not even going to get into their energy and what they're doing because I don't want to start projecting it. Remember, it's what you, how you perceive things, right? How you see things. Like I know that this is going to reach who it's meant for, right? And if you're not understanding it, it might inquire you to start researching it and starting to see things, right? Sometimes there's just certain key words. Even if you just take one thing out of it. 21, 22 on the clock as I say that. Source code number. Right. So. So. Um, anyways. Yeah. So for some of you, you could really be seeing through people. Um, you know, seeing their masks. Right. You no, know, Maybe pulling back your energy and seeing how people change too. That was a big one for me. I started really pulling back my energy and started to see how people change because... For some people, like these masquerading spirits, like they siphon your energy and reflect it back at you. So if you stop giving them your energy, they can't use it to hide themselves. That's what that mask is. So yeah, you may think that you have a connection with them. You may think that, you know what I mean, that this beautiful person or whatever, but that yeah, baby, that's your energy you're seeing. They were using and siphoning. Oh, that was another thing too I went through. I did like systematic I keep hearing like I did multiple things because I was getting tired of how drained and you know I should have taken into account the full moon but I was like I'm just tired of this I'm like we're gonna go through clearings I'm gonna clear I was like that's it I'm gonna do the light language healing I'm gonna do this so I was doing a lot of um cord cutting and clearing rituals um and meditations and uh for um, vampiric energy, for vampires, for siphoning, soul ties, all sorts of stuff. Maybe for some of you, you're, you're feeling called to do that as well, right? So not having people siphon your energy because, like, that's what it is. You know what I mean? For some, it's like they just have these attachments on you and they're siphoning your energy, right? I mean, sometimes it's like if you have that, I ever had somebody that come across that's constantly asking you questions and wanting to know all of these things and they're like reeling your energy. Like, you know what I mean? Like there's that. Um, but then other times it's like they can just do it because they've got a cord attached to you, right? Where it's not even always that it needs to be a physical contact or whatever so it's really important to cleanse and clear your energy to do those cord clearings because you don't always have to like be even be in a relationship y'all with what everybody's doing with the black magic and spell work like and the mk ultra all that stuff like like sometimes it's like friends of friends or friend or a family of friends that aren't even that maybe you don't even talk to, but they got a connection through, you know, through the person you're with. So they're heavily, like they can feel your energy maybe in pictures or on the phone and they're siphoning and they've been doing, I was getting like obsessions felt like somebody, you know, people don't realize that like a lot of spell work and stuff like that, it's done with the mouth. It's done with the words. It's not all potions right and crystals and <laughs> herbs and all of that right and just like people don't realize they're doing death magic when you wish that somebody else you know isn't here in this earthly realm you're creating spell death magic right 
things like that. So to me, you're, you're starting to see all of this stuff all around you. So when you start to pull your energy back, and you can also just do things like claiming your energy back, right? Releasing, right? Giving everyone's energy, like letting go, right? You give people energy when you think about them too. So if you're thinking about past people, like that's a sign too if somebody is heavily like obsessed with you. You will constantly be thinking about them. So that's a sign right there. You need to do some sort of clearing. You need to let them go. Um, you need to stop thinking about them. So whenever you find, it's about that reprogramming, right? If you start to think about, the, you know what I mean? Shift it back to you say, nope, I'm calling my energy. So I'm going to go think about, you know what I mean? I'm pouring that love into self. So for some of you, just being aware of these things is allowing you to level up. Okay. All right. Let's get some more cards. I feel like I'm shuffling this for a little while. <laughs> a family of light. Ooh. The, for a lot of you, too, you're getting a lot of help, right, from your star family as we are coming together and we are helping each other. Yeah, look, beyond cycles. And there's a dragon there. It's talking about the dragon realm. I really feel, yeah, look, and know yourself, right? We're going to stop there. Because I feel like I could get really deep in this. Okay. So, um, you know, and it was crazy too. Like at some point, like I was like, I was purging out emotions too. For some of you, something's going to be a trigger that's going to cause a purging, right? Of emotions. Like I remember at one point, like, um, sometimes I'm like, are these even my emotions? Like, what are these? Like for some of you, you could be realizing like, Maybe they're old emotions that are coming out or something. But for some of you, you might even be like, what is this? Like, why do I feel this way? This is not even my energy. That's a sign there too. When you release that energy, you know, and I'll even straight up say like divine, clear out that energy. That ain't my energy. Calling my energy back to center, you know, envision a bright white light, you know, surrounding you, white, gold, you know, um, start thinking about things you're grateful and thankful for raise your vibration elevate music different things that you can do all right so let's get into okay family of light so and then yeah i'm just gonna go into the cards i don't know <laughs> too much with um intuitively so anyway um signs guidance in it, in it, and ancient wisdom, new blessings and divine initiations. Wow. For some of you, yeah, like this is a time of like divine initiations. For a lot of you, like you're being tested on things to see if you've overcame them now that you're in more control. Especially if you're aware of like these monitoring spirits, like, all right, how are you going to handle it now? Like, um, so you could be going through these things. I really felt they up the game too. Like, you know, like have a test get harder. And like I said, even though whatever comes it, a chosen one levels them up. Know that. As you overcome it, every single thing is, is being watched and monitored by divine. Oh, right. There's always a, you know what I mean? Like, there's always a higher level and an order to things. So a lot of these are like getting you up right it's like because divine can see if certain things are attacking you are able to penetrate your auric field and get to the core of you get to your emotions and your feelings and have you react in a way then there was some sort of weakness there was a hole you were you know you had a leak you had something right so then healing needs to be done more work needs to be done, light shield, you know what I mean, repair, whatever. So I really feel that you've been getting like a lot of these things have just been building you up too, right? And, t and allowing you to see like, wow, have you ever noticed that before where something triggered you before and you healed from it, purged from it, whatever, and then somebody brings it up, right? That's one of those monitoring spirits, okay? Somebody carrying one of these, right? And it could be... um. I'm not going to get too much into that. I'm talking about people. I'm trying to tell Spirit they want me to go off something else, but I want to keep it this way. So, 
but so they come up and they bring up something and you're just like hmm, yeah that doesn't bother me anymore and you realize it and you're just like wow yeah that doesn't bother me anymore wow I overcame it that's something where you got healed right but you need to be mindful right because when people are trying to bring up things that were triggers for you before they're being used right okay so you could be seeing 11, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 22, 22, and 44, 44. These are also confirmations that this is your reading if you're seeing those. All right, so let's see what know yourself. Meditate, who am I? A veil of forgetting is lifting. Wow, opening, bigger perspective. I'm done. <laughs> Just kidding. I know I love it when they do that. They give me the cards of what I already was telling you. So it lets me know like confirmation. When I it's cute when I say like I'm done, it's cute little things I did to spirit, like, see, I don't even need cards. <laughs> but I like to it's cute to show you guys, right? And it keeps me on track because I can I can float away sometimes, right? So multidimensional, a heart of God and one with all oh my gosh so you see how powerful that is with the know thyself this is that i am energy being one with god divine source the creator the divine source energy you are fully present you are fully aware of yourself right now right you're claiming all your power back you're not planning the future you're not planning or you're not See, I said plan. I was going to say planning the past. Why would I say planning the past? Because when you're thinking about the past, you're creating your future. Because that's what you're thinking about. That's what you're giving energy to. And that's where they have control over you. Because what do we think about? We think about a lot of times the stronger emotions, the traumas, the tra You know what I mean? Or, you know, like it's just, it's one of those things. Like something's triggering a lot of those things that anyway. Fully in control is when you're in this present moment, you know thyself, right? Veil of forgetting is lifting because it doesn't matter. It's not like, oh, I forgot to plan this. I have this coming up, da 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 da. So, you know what I mean? No, you're in the you're in the moment right now. Okay. So you're opening up, you're getting a bigger perspective, you're being multidimensional, you're starting to realize that time or time is an illusion right that past present and future are all simultaneously existing and if you don't understand that yet be open to discovery that's all i gotta say okay so you're starting to realize that you're when you start to get in control of all of this in the moment you're one with all heart of god being online with divine source energy like that is what's going on so this is beautiful I love this okay and so then we got beyond cycles this will be the last card and then we'll close this one out so I'm already up to 30 minutes I like to keep them around 30 minutes all right so feel free to watch whatever you feel guided to okay I do try to upload in threes when it can so um you know you could take a look at all three of them it's going to be the energies that are coming out very strongly for the energies you know of today but Anyways, all right, so with the dragon here beyond cycle says, find and embrace yourself, a new direction, releasing old patterns, cosmic manifestation of divine support, photon belt, cosmic alignment and return. Ooh, very beautiful. So I felt to read more to the card. Those are just the keywords that I've read for a couple of those. But I really feel that you're getting into it, definitely an alignment for a lot of you. It's putting you in a new direction and a new path. You're releasing these old patterns and cycles. You're not going to be repeating them. <laughs> okay. So I feel like for some of you, it's like you're getting like a life review at this time. And it's allowing you to like release and let go. And, you know they're they're tests but it it's not even going to feel like tests for you because you're just releasing it all with love so you're just like yeah 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 so some of these the monitoring spirit like are coming at you trying to throw shade and hate and jealousy or whatever and you're just like i love you i love, I love like thank you thank you you know what i mean <laughs> so this is very pretty energy 
Lemurian star child, your dragon family asked you to trust your integrity. Allow yourself to express feelings without hiding your heart and without holding back your truth out of shame. If you see certain parts of yourself as dark or unacceptable, perhaps because of judgment from another, you are invited to look more closely. The dragon too has often been depicted as a dark creature. Its power of purification has led people to fear its destructive influence, creating an erroneous perception of dragon kind. The dragon's intention is not to destroy, but to use its powers as a benevolent force. Its fire purifies with gentleness. Within the old paradigm, that is a flame. The dragon gives you a safe passageway through the fire. Oh my gosh. Wait till the end. I have to tell you something else about Ghostbusters. If you don't know what I'm talking about Ghostbusters, take a look at the last reading because that's where they were giving it to me, Ghostbusters. Within the old paradigm, that is a flame, the dragon gives you a safe passageway through the fire to bring you safely to the loving space beyond the earth, denser throughout forms. In the old paradigm, you were cycling through your fears because that paradigm is a repetition of the past. See? Oh my gosh, I love it that it backs up everything, right? Okay. So you can now step out of these cycles by creating a loving space for all parts of yourself. Find the dragon in yourself and let it express freedom boldly and benevolently. The dragon does what it does, whether people love or fear its presence, and gives the divine service to humanity. That which wants to hide the divine aspect of yourself or perceive the dragon as fearsome is the ego. Afraid it will be burnt up within the fires of purification. It cannot allow you to see all the helping hands reaching out as a gesture of support in the physical and in the etheric realms. Acknowledge and love all aspects of yourself, especially those aspects that you might consider the dark. The, eager, the, oh, sorry, the ego fears those aspects the most because they can set you free when you shine your light on them. The dragon sees through all the false thoughts of the ego and wishes to share with you its divine communion. Mankind has created its, created in its mind a battle between good and evil. This is the illusion of thought, which is in turn the illusion of darkness. The cycles of the old paradigm are over, and the dragon is the catalyst to bring you to resolution and integration. For you are ready to transcend all two-dimensional cycles. In this new paradigm, you will be you will evolve into the higher dimensional sacred geome ge geometric figures, such as the infinite heart and the Taurus. This leads to a subtle integration as the old cycle transform into an expanding of vortices. To end the cycle of the old paradigm, bring love to those parts of yourself that you deny and feel what it, what it is underneath them. Go to the depths of your feelings, acknowledge the needs of your inner child, and hold the dear little one in your arms as much as love and compassion. This prepares you to travel with the dragons to explore this passionate expression. Oh my goodness, there's a lot. Okay, I didn't realize there was so much. And then they get into a meditation, all sorts of stuff. So... This is very, very powerful, and it is all about that perception, right? The ego is identif identification of self is what it is. And it's what I always tell people is your ego is just what how you perceive yourself and how you perceive others perceive you. When you start to realize that it doesn't matter what others think of yourself and it doesn't matter what you think of yourself because what you think of yourself is just a perception of what you think other people think of you right and if you don't understand that you will when you when when you do so when you go through that sometimes you have to go through many ego deaths right was it like seven i think it's seven you have to go through like seven major deaths rebirth cycles right before you can anyway so um for some of you, like, you went through your last, literally, your last ego death, right? Your last shedding, your, okay, or you're in route to do so. But you're starting to realize that, you know, like, it is okay to defend yourself. Just like I was saying, like, I was shut down before with fear where I couldn't be expressive. So maybe for some of you, it's that speaking, maybe it's communicating or showing or whatever it is, but it's letting go of that fear, all right?
because um, you can't have love and fear, right? You have to fully let go of fear, just be in the vibration of love. But see, you you have to be able to defend yourself, right? And that's why we have our animalistic nature, our shadow side. It's like, you know, if you need to defend yourself, that that's where you um, need to learn to have like healthy boundaries, right? Just like standing up to these monitoring spirits, right? Not giving them information to use against you, not giving them any of your energy, right? So having those boundaries, like no, back away. You know what I mean? Like that does not you know, if you were to think, oh, they're going to think I'm a, I'm a mean person because I wouldn't answer their questions or I wouldn't tell them things or whatever, then you need to go through another ego death because you're thinking about what they think about you, right? Okay. So, wow, this is beautiful. All right, so what I was going to tell you about the Ghostbusters, right, is, all right, so I'm, I'm going to be careful because I don't want to ruin the movie for anybody that hasn't seen it. All right, so, you know, it's called the Frozen Empire, right, because this darkness right? Obviously taking over freezing, you know, the city, right? So they go looking for the fire god or the fire master, right? Because obviously that would be the only thing that would be able to help this or whatever. So you would think everybody, just the way, okay, I don't want to get too much into it, but like in the movie, the way that, you know, you would fear fire and things like that and the way that, that it's used, right? It was just, it was so beautiful because the way that it did it, it's like, they were giving me so much more. It's like, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to slip anything. From, if you watch the movie and you understand about the fire master, the fire god or whatever, like you'll understand when I say like, um, just like how powerful it is when you can control fire. Okay. And like anybody can do it when you don't make a weapon of it, right? So, it, and you know, and it's about shifting it, moving things, and it's not always about using it just to destroy. Like the way that, that the movie showed, like it, it was like using fire to not destroy. So I'm gonna leave it there. Go watch the movie if you haven't seen it. It's on Netflix. It just hit last night. I'm going to be watching it again with my kids on our little projector. Um, yeah, we just seen it on a projector, um, the library. It was so awesome. I love the movies. Anyways, love and light to all of you. Definitely watch every full guide to you. Subscribe to the channel if you have not, as you came in on my energetic frequency. So we imagine you're part of my star family. If you're not one of my little monitoring spirits, but you know what? I send you all love too. So it is what it is, right? <laughs> love and light to all of you. Bye.